lets go and then he uh pulls back. Yeah. Don't accept that things can get a little crazy. Accept that they will. And what are we doing to all prepare for it? During this journey to become great at this sport, one thing that we've all learned is to listen to those who have already walked the path and taking those lessons and translating them into video into what we call next level fishing. This is what you guys been waiting for. This is what you guys been wanting. Ah, he's turning me around. How about that, huh? Woo! That's what we came for. Where there is structure, there is fish, thus being an important key to offshore kayak fishing. One unique thing about the Texas coastline is the fact that we have close rigs not too far off from shore. On our last offshore episode, we ran into plenty of sharks. This time, we run into something that leaves a bad taste in our mouth. It's something that's going to keep us coming back for more. It's something that I think all offshore kayak fishermen should experience just to make sure that you understand how extreme kayak fishing is, especially offshore. The other unique thing about Texas is the heat. Hydration is important, don't underestimate it. Out there it's important, teamwork is everything, communication is key, and building a bond with your partner is essential when all hell breaks loose. Today we're targeting live bait. In order to achieve this, we need to catch it. We'll use a knife jig heavy enough to go down at least 40 feet. Now if you're out there without sonar, without depth finders, it can be kind of difficult to see at what level the bait fish are running. So here's what we do. Start your bait off floating at top and peel off drag just like you see Reuben. But peel off a foot at a time and make sure you're counting that. And wherever you see activity, remember that foot count and continue to drop down to that level. Or you can also do the complete opposite and work the bottom all the way up and just jig up a good foot every time. And really the whole point of this is just to locate the level of the fish and if no live well is present, no worries. But this is a patent pending method, so don't go all sharing it with everybody. So there you have it. Knife jigging for bait. Get close to structure. So now that we've done that, time to go hunting. There's even more kayaks over there. There's even more kayaks over there. On the first rig? Yeah. I think with these ribbon fish, we need to figure out a way to, uh -huh. we need to figure out a way to sink them a little bit. Cause like the way we're, we're doing right now, they're pretty much floating on the surface. Yeah. We need to find a way where they, I don't know, at least 10 feet, five to 10. Early morning bait was definitely not a problem. But as time went, it was a little disturbing to see everybody around us not catching anything. The environment was ideal. Pressure was where it needed to be. Currents were great. Wind was almost nothing. And water clarity was excellent. Just no fish. Is 
All right, maybe we'll get lucky, get a king on the way in. Be awesome. Big old 50 incher, how about that? What were the birds? The birds, they were nowhere to be found. Well, take a look around. Not a lot's going on. Everybody's quiet, people have slowed down their trolling speeds. We see plenty of activity below, but no excitement above. Which tells us that they're there. Maybe they're just not hungry yet. Now one thing I've noticed this year with us is we seem to be taking on a pattern regardless of the body of water we fish. It's happening all over again. It's that one, you know. That one where as soon as it hits, you lose connection with everything. Some may say no thanks, but a fish fight that pushes you for six hours takes a little out of you. This is when we decided this is where we need to be. The feeling of the line, the hearing of the drag, the water splashing up against the hull, kayaks coming in closer to see what all the fuss is about. And I'll be honest with you. We didn't feel, hear, or see any of it. These are those moments that have you coming back for more. Music motivation. Another mystery fish to add to the books. Thank you for watching Next Level Fishing on the Hooked Up Network. 
We'll see you very soon. Because guess what? We we'll finally get the king. Until next time, the wind's kicked up, check it out.